Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're talking about something that's very important that you should really start before you get going on YouTube. That is account security. One of the biggest problems, and we've touched on this before, but one of the biggest problems you will face in your YouTube career, besides all the algorithm stuff, is having your account hacked. Now, it happens quite often. These days, compared to, let's say, four years ago, YouTube's a little bit better on getting your account back if it does get hacked. But for a while there, it was pretty scary. But it could still put your account down and really set you back if it does get hacked. So I'm going to tell you a couple things that you need to know so you don't get your account hacked or you don't get it taken away. Something like that. These people are out there and they just want to take your account. They want to get into it. and They want to do things with it. You know, there's this one thing that going around where they would hack into someone's account and then they would just start playing this stupid crypto video. They delete all your stuff. Everything be gone. They delete all your videos. Luckily, YouTube now uh, can re-upload them for you or they'll, you know, after they've been deleted, there's like a delay. They won't actually delete them for like 30 days. So YouTube can put it up there. I might be wrong on the amount of time, but talking to my rep, they said, yeah, they can recover them. So that's good. But you don't want it to happen anyway. Back in the old days, like I said, it was a really scary situation. A lot of people lost a lot of freaking money with it. So you got a million subscribers. Next thing you know, people tune into your account and they just see some clown talking about cryptocurrency, you know, and it was just a scam. Avoid all that with some quick, easy steps. The first one is, which I have mentioned before, you will start getting sponsor offers from really shady companies. Uh, they, they're not even real companies. They're just fake. You know, they usually tell you, Aquafina wants to sponsor your channel. You have a thousand subscribers. You make videos about your poodle. Aquafina does not want to sponsor one of your videos. Let's be real. I mean, they throw out money out there. Like, we're going to give you $2,000. We're going to give you $10,000. And a lot of people see that and go, I'm on the way. You know, I've got a thousand subscribers. I'm putting out videos that get five, 600 views of time. Obviously, they want to sponsor my videos. They don't want to sponsor your videos. They want to sponsor people that are at World Courting Briggs level. And I'm barely there because I'm a faceless channel and they usually don't sponsor channels like that, but I still make it. They want people that get hundreds of thousands of views per video within the first 30 days. That's who wants to sponsor you. Now, there are a few cases where they have these micro sponsors where you might get 50 bucks or they might send you something and you just got to mention their, their product, right? Just be very careful. If they're sending you links that you have to click on, you know, stay away from it. Another thing people want you to edit for you or edit your videos or do things, or they want to help you with SEO. They want you to click on a link. Don't click on links. Once you click on a link, you're opening yourself up. Okay. Make sure you know that company is legit. The first thing you want to do is when they send you an email, look and see where it's coming from. If Aquafina wants to sponsor your video or Coke or Pepsi, their email address is going to say something like Coke, Pepsi, Aquafina, or whatever their you know main company is, something like that. A lot of times you'll get it from a reputable company like I use Nano Zebra. So if I see an email from someone that's not Nano Zebra, I just tell them, talk to Nano Zebra. They'll take care of it for you. Now, there's other companies like them that will bring you sponsorships, but that's the one that I'm with. Um, they've been pretty good to me. So wait, you know, when you get big enough, you'll know it and you'll start getting legit emails and stuff like that. But in the beginning, when you've got 1,000, 2,000 subscribers, you're getting 100 to 200 views per video. No one wants to sponsor you. I mean, it's nice to think that they do, but no one wants to sponsor you. Uh, they might send you something in the mail if you just mention it. You know, I, I get those all the time. I don't do them. I'm all, you want to send me stuff, send it to me. I'll try it out. And if I do like what they send me, I'll bring it up. I mean, I'm not going to spend uh, 45 seconds of my whole video for just because they sent me some, you know, candy or something like that. No, I might mention it was pretty good. That's about it. Now, watch out for links. No matter what, if they're sending you a link, don't click on it unless you really know what's going on, okay? The second thing, and I want you to do this right now, you have an email address that is attached to your YouTube account, right? And it's the one you started your account with, and it's vulnerable. Don't let someone hack that. Nobody should know what that email address is right now. You should quit using it, okay? Don't give it to anyone. 
it's not a thing because that's how they can get into you. They can, that's how they can get into your account, how they can get into you. It turned weird all of a sudden, but that's how they can get to your account. If they know the right email for that account, they'll hack your account. Okay. So like I have an email address for my account, but I also made another one that's, you know, not connected to world Courtney Briggs, but it's just world two Briggs at Gmail. Okay. That's the one I give everyone. I don't tell them the real email address for my account. You're just opening yourself up. They might as well just show you my credit card information, you know? So get a secondary email address for your account, okay? And if you're, you know, John's Poodle Service, make John's Poodle Service at gmail.com or whatever. Don't get them mixed up because that's how you can get your account hacked. Now, that's very important. That's probably the most important thing of this. But the next thing I want to tell you about is a product and I'm not pushing it. I'm not giving you a link to get one or anything. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll put a link down there and I'll put a link for some of them because Amazon has a whole bunch. But this is a Google Titan key. Okay. And it comes in this little fancy box. I already took it out, but in it, you will get these two things. A key. There's a little remote thing. Comes like that you get this little key that goes into one of the USB slots of your computer. Okay. And it's got this little thing here. Boop. You got to touch it, right? If I put this in my account and assign that key to my Google account, to my YouTube channel, I have to have this with me. If I want to get into my account, even occasionally I'll use my normal computer. This is in there. It'll ask me to reaffirm that you know, the key. So I just got to put my thumb on it and it works. Even if I have my password and my email and all that, and I'm on another computer, I can't get into my own account unless I have my key. Okay. They also give you a little remote thing you can put on your normal, like keychain or whatever. Nobody has a keychain anymore, hardly, but you could carry this little USB device that you put up against the computer and turn it on. That one, I keep it in a cabinet because that's something I don't want to drop or something like that. And then someone just, I don't know, the chances of them, me dropping it and them finding my laptop and doing that are very slim. But I just don't like it. This one stays in my computer, my work computer, and I never touch it. I just leave it in there all the time. It's out right now. I'm going to go put it back in in a second because I'm kind of nervous right now. This is one of the best things you could get. Now, there are other companies that do them. I just trust Google and, you know, it's, it's a big company. So they got a lot riding on these things being reliable, right? Where fly by night companies from China, they don't care. They just sold your product. Good, good for them. Change your email address. Don't click stupid links and get a Titan key. Now that's the name of this one. There's other ones. And like I said, I'll leave some links. I guess it is an affiliate account, but I'm not really trying to push these, but it's a really good idea. Really good idea. I bought one for my brother and anyone else in my family that might need one. Now, Next thing, turn off your computer occasionally. Now, I don't know all the background of this, and I don't know the tech things to it, but I sat through this thing at Vid Summit a couple years ago, and this guy is a, like, corporate internet security guy, right? And he gave this really good speech, and he said one of the most important things you do, and now they leave these little things on your computer. If someone hacked into your account, they've got these little things on your computer. Well, if you turn off your computer every day, it kind of sets them back um, in, in most cases, he said. I'm not sure the ins and outs. It's just a good idea to turn off your computer, power off completely, turn it back on. A lot of us just put it on sleep and leave it there. No, power it down occasionally. You don't have to do it every day. I do it at least a couple times a week. I just turn off my computer entirely. Um, and then that helps me out. And sometimes I'll just turn down my whole system. I mean, I've got four computers attached to it, all of them with a the Titan key, by the way. And I just turn the whole thing off occasionally. And I also, just to make sure, I turn off my internet for a few minutes every single week. Just, it's a little more safe that way, you know? You just hope for the best. Now, I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but, and there's there's better ways to secure your account, but these are the basics that you should be doing to make sure nobody just jacks your account. And next thing you know, let's say you're making $5,000 a month off YouTube, and all of a sudden they hack your account, and, you know, by the time you get it all fixed up, you have made 500 bucks this month because none of your things were running or or people thought you deleted your account. And so you just 
they quit watching you. Don't be set back by that money wise or growth wise. Make sure you secure your account as soon as you can, even though you're not making any money. You got 50 subscribers. You're, you're barely doing anything. Do it now. Don't wait till later. Okay. Just get used to it. Uh, Titan key is, like I said, one of the best things going right now. I'm sure a few years, there'll be something better. Keep your eye out on, you know, keep your eye out for that. I'm sure something else will be better to secure your account. All right, everyone have a great day. Talk to you next video. Boop.